my crafty friends, Alicia from Love Letter Generation. Hope you're all doing well. I'm on here with some happy mail, which I received from the lovely Emma, who is Project Sparkle. Uh, we decided to do our very first swap and it was Easter theme. So I only did two swaps for Easter this year and it was my first time um, ever doing it so you would have seen my first swap I did was with Soleil and yeah now I have Emma's um, Easter swap here right in front of me so I'm super excited and this was also um, Emma's first time doing Easter mail as well so it's come all the way from the UK and also bear with me guys, um, I am still quite sick at the moment, um, I did go to the doctors yesterday, I was given antibiotics, but yeah, I just thought I'd apologise um, to you and to Emma um, for my voice, but I really, really wanted to get into this and open it and see what she has created, because she makes beautiful projects, and already I can tell this is so gorgeous, like... How cute is this, this tissue paper with the little chicks on it? That's so cute. So I'm definitely going to be keeping that. And I'm not sure I'll get through all of it today. I may have to film it in two parts like I did with my first Easter swap. Just because of, you know, I have to see how, how I'm going throughout the video. Because I do tend to get very you know, tired and unwell and I may possibly lose my voice. Oh, this is so cute what she has done here. I love these. Oh, I have to steal this idea. Well, not steal it, but, you know, it's so inspiring and, yeah, I'm definitely going to be, you know, naming Emma as my inspiration because I want to make some of these gorgeous little paper clips look at this it's like a little shaker paper clip oh so pretty with the pink I absolutely love that so yeah I definitely want to make some of my own of these and I even bought the little pink and green or pale mint green paper clips recently to um to create some now there is a note here, um, which I will read off camera. Okay, so I might have to do bit by bit. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. rid of all of this shred guys you need to go grab a drink grab a snack um yeah this will most likely be a long video <laughs> even if it is in two parts it will be long um as i like to go through things really well and really um admire you know the work that my fellow crafters do for me so let's just first let's take out some things out of the box just move this out of the way oh yummy chocolate 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 gotta love chocolate I'm so very excited to get into this there's lots of little like eggs in here too. And she has received my package um, a while ago, but I believe she's sort of been in a bit of the same situation as me where we've both been, you know, under the weather, unwell. So um, a lot of love and time have gone into our packages just Try and pop this somewhere. It's 
so I don't crush anything. I hope I'm in frame. I'll just get up and have a look. Oh, a bit low. There we go. And you will probably hear my husband in the background as well. He is also home um, from work, really sick as well. So we're both really sick at the moment. I'm pretty sure he's actually got, got the flu, whereas I get more of like a respiratory type virus. All right, where to start? Okay, so I might just start with the Easter egg first, the yummy chocolate. So this is Cadbury mini eggs. That is so funny because I think I actually sent these mini eggs to Emma in her, <laughs> her package as well. So it's really funny that we've both sent each other these like mini eggs. Although I think mine were the Daryl Lee brand, which is an Australian um, owned and made brand. But yeah, looking forward to having those. I love my chocolate. We then have this cute bunny bag here. We'll see what's in here. Oh, it's a little box. Oh, gorgeous. And some sequins. And that bag is so cute. Look at that. Look at the little pom-pom for his little cottontail. <laughs> so cute. Sorry, I'm just trying to get comfortable. So inside, she has gifted me oh, some pretty pink heart sequins. I might just move some things off to the side so you can see a bit better. Because some things cast a bit of a shadow. So there's some gorgeous sequins. We got small hearts and bigger hearts. I believe this came from one of their crafty shops in the UK. And then we have some white sequins, which I'm always running out of. So I was actually needing more white sequins. So thank you for those. And then we've got this cute little box here with the bow. And it says Easter wishes. Oh, how gorgeous is that washi tape that she's used? That is so adorable. So cute. Okay, let's see if I can... Oh, maybe she... Did she, did she go this way? It doesn't really matter, I don't think. I just don't want to wreck it. She's created like a little sleeve for a little embellishment box. It has these three beautiful sets of sequins. So there's, try and get it open, these little white um, flower sequins. these purple so pretty and these pretty pink ones oh this is a tight container <laughs> how gorgeous is that color Very pretty. Thank you for those. There we 
go. We then have this adorable bunny pen. So cute. Like the face. We then have these little fun Easter eggs here that are filled with treats. So what do we got here? Oh wow, I didn't know they did um, Easter like gummy bears. So these are Happy Easter Haribo. I don't know how she managed to shove that in there. Like <laughs> that's a pretty good effort. I'll tell you to try and fit that in this egg. Look at that. <laughs> Very good effort. Oh, we have a pink one. Oh, what are these? Are these like chocolate bonbons? I'm just going by how they look, but they look like they're by Kinder Surprise. I have not tried these before, so yeah, interested to try those. Um, I have a feeling this might be some more Haribo, yep, more Haribo Easter gummies. But they're shaped like little bunnies. Yeah, I think they are. They're like little bunny heads. And then... Ooh, more of these. Um, yeah, chocolate Kinder bonbons. From what it looked like, from what I could read. We then have this cute little package first, so I might just move some of these things. She's got a cute little dangle on there. Oh, that's so cute, that little can of paint and then she's used like, like glitter glue or um, what's the other ones called? Like, are they called spark, sparkles? Maybe not. Oh, how cute. This is like a, almost like a glassine type material shaker with the clear front, like pocket. How cute is that? Do you guys see those little chicks in inside the shaker? And he's got a little paintbrush. So cute. And I recognise these buttons from Buttons Galore and More. Because <laughs> I have the same ones. We then have, oh, it's like a little mini clipboard. Look at that. Look. And oh, so cute. Look at all the little little mini projects. These are all so adorable. See how cute. And then here she has gifted me some pretty paper flowers these in this gorgeous color sort of like your pinks and your lilacs which she knows i love and the same with this one as well okay let's See what else is in the box. I'll just maybe move some of these 
off to the side. Might pull it. Put that in there like that because it's so cute. Put my choppy away so no one else eats it. And my lollies, my kids will try and get into those. Okay, let's see what else is in the box. Lots of... Oh, that's adorable. How cute is that bunny? All right, let's just go with those ones for the meantime. So cute. Put that there. Okay, just move some things off to the side. How adorable is this bunny pouch? That is so cute. And she's popped her own dangle on there. Let's see what's in here. I saw some of these um, like that she posted on her YouTube. It might have been Instagram. It was one of those. So she's made some cute little pens. How adorable. It's a little beaded pen. She's a little chick bead. It's so cute. And I love all the pastel colours that she's used. And then we have this one here. And I believe she put her own, like, Nuvo drops or pops. Or what was the other one I couldn't think of? They're like those glitter ones. So they're called sparkles or spark oh I can't remember I really can't but yeah she's decorated the the bead oops sorry the lighting's changing and then oh she's made this cute I'll just move that to the side for a sec she has made the most adorable pocket letter how cute is this and I love what she's done how she's divided this this section into a triangle so there's a shaker on one side and some paper on the other such a great idea and we've got the cute bunny embellishment Again, with the glasses, so adorable. I have a feeling I might have this die now. I think I purchased it after um, after Easter. Oh, and this is so cute what she's done here with this little tab. It says, you're extra special. She stitched one of those tab pieces. And then in the back... There are a whole heap of cute little, like, ephemera pieces. Look at these. <laughs> <laughs> so 
sorry, I can just hear my husband, like, because Aloe's walking all over him. So cute. My husband has a really, really bad back and is trying to lie on the floor because it helps his back. And yeah, our big giant puppy Arlo is trying to like walk all over him. Yeah, I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> They're so cute with all the little paint cans and paint brushes. So cute. I don't know where she grabbed those from, but I love this idea. Look how she how she's done that. That's oh, very cute. I love the glitter on it too. things back the right way. Stay chicky, stay. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And then there was some goodies attached to this pocket letter. So we have some pretty pink bling stickers. They look like little flowers. Oh my gosh, it's a huge pack. It's so big. And then we have these ones. It's really funny because I like sent her the same type of like gifts pretty much. Oh, these have moved around a bit in the mail, but that's okay. I'll be able to fix them. But look at those beautiful, beautiful iridescent gems. I can't believe how big the pack sizes are. They're huge. So I will put them back in here. This is the cutest pouch. I love that pocket letter. I'll just pop it up there for the meantime. I might just leave some of the handmade items out. And then oh, that sun doesn't know how to make up its mind. We've got this cute, what looks like 3D um, project. <laughs> Sorry, my mind is just going blank. I didn't get any sleep last night. It's just such cute packaging. I love it. Oh, and whatever's in here looks super cute too. These look so cute. It's like it's an adorable like teacup or mug, I should say. It's a it's a mug. How pretty. Look at that. It's so cute. And I love the patterned paper she has used. And here are her details, Handmade with Love by Emma, Project Sparkle. Oh, and these packs in here look so fun and colourful. Look at these, what are they? I don't know. Spread everywhere. Oops, the post lady's here. Give me a sec. There's... Just have to answer the door. 
Okay. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Yeah, I had the post lady here drop off her package. Yay. <laughs> Yay for happy mail. Oh, I shouldn't say it wasn't really happy mail. It's more stuff that I've been buying. <laughs> anyway, let's see what these... These are so cute. So, it is tea on a stick. Sorry about that. I had to pause again. Everybody's... Everybody's interrupting my video today. Then that was the postie. So I had the post package lady and then I had the, the postie. <laughs> I apologize for that, Emma. Um, so this is called Tea Pop. Earl Grey Tea Gourmet Natural Dissolves in Water. What? I have never seen anything like this before. Tea on a stick. That is crazy. Tea pop dissolves instantly in hot water. Wow. And gradually in cold if you want it cold. But yeah, I'm not too sure who would want to drink cold Earl Grey. <laughs> Some people might, but I don't. I like hot Earl Grey. Ah, oh, this is my fa favourite, like, flavour tea Earl Grey. I just love bergamot. And these are so cute. Look at this one. This is Wild Berry Punch. What's it got in it? Um, oh, I can't tell. Oh, here we go. Wild Berry Punch Tea has hibiscus, apple, rosehip, freeze-dried raspberry. Yum. And I've been drinking a lot of like um, berry herbal teas as well while I've been sick. Uh, you know, things with echinacea and all that sort of stuff that's meant to be good for sick people. But thank you for these. These are really cool. And I have, yeah, like I said, we don't have anything like this as far as I'm aware of here you know, in Australia. It's a little hard for me to tell because I don't live in a city. I live in a small, like coastal town out the middle of nowhere so um yeah it's kind of I, I i have not seen anything like this they're really awesome so and then she's got this gorgeous oh how pretty is this shred so pretty so that's really fun what she's done there just to, to make a teacup and then stick these little teapops inside like how cute I love that love that so what have we got I'll just move this to the side hope it's not casting too much of a shadow I do have the sun coming in my craft room window at the moment when it started off quite dark so Oh, this is cute too. Look at this little shaker on top of the package. It's a little mouse that is adorable. And I love how I've noticed throughout her projects she's used a lot of um, ambisands, which I really like. Because she's used it here. And she's used it on this one here. And they're really pretty, like, pastel colours too. So I'm going to take this one off because I have a feeling that this is her hand, like it's a handmade card. Just a shaker embellishment that she's used a bit of paper to, you know, make it look good. Look at that. Beautiful colours in there. Love those blues, those pale baby blues. With pink. Ah, oh, it's all so adorable. I love all these little, like, little tiny projects. Like, they're just so cute. Let's 
see what's in this wrapped package. What do we got here? Oh, we have some foam stickers. Something we can't get here in Australia. So we've got these cute little bunnies. Look at them. And they've got like um, iridescent to them. Uh, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> they are cute. Oh, look. Oh, this guy holding the carrot. Oh, you know what? Since I started crafting Easter this year, like, I was loving all the cute little bunnies and chicks and everything. So I think I'm going to keep, like, making bunnies throughout the year now. I loved it so much. Because, I mean, like, how adorable are they? And they're in pretty much all of our, like, any collection that you basically own has a bunny in it like all the Maggie Holmes collections have bunnies or deer or something cute some kind of cute animals so and then she has sent these gorgeous gems look at those they were almost like a marble pink looking sticker gem aren't they pretty They are gorgeous. So pretty. Oh my gosh. I feel so, so spoilt. All right, let's see what else is in the box. There's still a lot more to go. It was meant to be like a medium sized box that we were doing, but yeah, it looks like she went a little bit bigger than <laughs> what I showed her that we were going to swap, but that's okay. There's a cute, some cute packages there. Oh my gosh. And we said we're going to make a 3D project. And so far from what I can see, she's actually made two or three 3D projects. Oh dear. Ah, oh, Emma. All right. I'm going to have to move the pens over to the side. They're all these little cuties. Just for the meantime. I did pull out this one first, so let's let's look at this cute bag first. Oh, look at those colours. I have a feeling they're chockies. More chockies. Oh, there's other things in here. Good things will happen. Oh, how pretty are they? That foiling. Um, all right, we might just have to, because there's a few things in here hiding. She's been hiding things. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, Oh wow. All right, let's try and dig through so I can see more tea. She knows how much I love tea. And then, oh, I love the colours of these. Look how pretty are they? Oh, look at a little chick. I'm oh, sorry about my voice, guys. <laughs> Just, they are so adorable. Look at them. Oh, that is so cute. All right, where do I put my shred? Over here. Okay, so she has also gifted me some tea bags. Oh, organic. Strawberry and elderflower. Yum. Let me try and... Oh, okay. So, yeah, they're all the same. Look at those. Oh, 
we do not have this brand here I'm pretty sure we don't I've never seen it here clipper natural fair and delicious we do have similar fair trade type teas here organic ones but yeah nothing in a gorgeous pink package like this <laughs> And then we have some bubble tea. That's so cute. Hydrogel under eye patches. Vitamin E green tea for clearer skin. How pretty are they? And you know what? These are perfect. Um, I get really puffy eyes. Like some mornings when I wake up, especially lately, um, if I've been like crying myself to sleep. I know that sounds really depressing, but um, my my first ever dog just died so um yeah I've been crying every night and every morning I wake up and my eyes are just so puffy they're almost close together they're that puffy and these will really help that so thank you for that Emma and they're in gorgeous pink and I'm going to try and use those um for when my eyes look absolutely terrible and then oh my favourite kind of lip smacker, cotton candy, love it. This was always my favourite lip smacker, this cotton candy one. Oh, thank you so much. Love it. We can't get lip smackers like this in Australia anymore. We can only get those, like, Disney princess ones with the big heads, but, you know, I'm not really... I, I like the original, like these, the original lip smacker sticks because I use them every day, like every day. It's like my only sort of beauty product that I will wear is like lip gloss, like lip smackers. And then we have some more tea in here. So we'll see what this one is. There'd be three of the same again, but I can't see. I believe it's that Tuzzo, is it Tuzzo brand? which I don't think we have here either. I mean, our supermarket pretty much only sells like Twinings, some T2, some organic type ones, and just, yeah, um, not very exciting ones, I should say. <laughs> I mean, T2 is exciting, but it's so expensive. Um, so this one is Organic Awake English Breakfast. And I do like English breakfast as well. So good. Thank you for that. And I need some more tea because I'm, um, yeah, I need to do another tea purchase. Because I've been drinking so much of it while I've been sick. It's not funny. But. Let's put those back in here so they stay safe. But look at all this tea she has sent me. It's so wonderful. And especially to try tea from, you know, another country that we can't get here. So thank you for those. Especially thank you for the lip smacker. You know how much I love those. I have my, my collection. Um, what else? We have this little cute package here. Look at this bunny. It is so adorable. Oh, <laughs> oh I haven't. Is this carrot cake? Oh, it is. Oh my gosh. I don't know how she knew, but like carrot cake is one of my favorite cakes ever. And this is carrot cake flavored lip smacker. Oh my gosh. So these were the type of lip smackers I was talking about just five seconds ago where they had the big like um, bobblehead things, but they're all in like Disney princesses and stuff. So I have never actually seen this flavor before. Carrot cake, wow. So my favourite cake is hummingbird and my second favourite is carrot cake and they're both quite similar cakes. Um, only hummingbird has pieces of like pineapple through it whereas carrot's mainly carrot. But 
yeah both such delicious cakes so I don't know how she knew that I would love carrot cake <laughs> because I never told her so that's really cool thank you isn't it funny how sometimes you just receive things and it's like the person just completely gets you I find that a lot with our happy mail it's like you may have never even mentioned it before but you know the person that sends you things just gets it they're spot on so she has made this cute little Easter suitcase. Look at that. Look at all that zigzag stitching that she has done. So cute. And her little cluster of different like gems. It's so pretty. She's used chul, there's a shaker, there's this cute chick paper. I'm not sure what collection she has used because I know we both said we didn't really have much Easter stuff so we had to go out and sort of buy what we could when we decided to do the swaps. Let's see what's in here. Oh! Cute little bunny bows. Look at these. Just try and. And she's used the brads um, from Buttons Galore and More because we're both on the design team for them. And that is a great way to use up these beautiful fabric brads. And to keep the bow together. Oh, they're cute. Colors are gorgeous. I think she said she did have some Bunny and Blooms collection that she used, and then maybe other stuff from maybe what she found at is it the range and hobby craft places like that, quite possibly. Sorry, I hope I'm saying the right words. I'm not too familiar with the UK craft stores, but I am I am starting to remember some of the names. So cute with the pink and the yellow like plaid. Gorgeous. And again, more beautiful shred. I don't know if you guys can see the shiny stuff in here and like the iridescent so pretty look at those love just trying to get it in without wrecking it and these beads on here are so pretty. Look at that green bead. Beautiful colour. I have been loving greens and blues lately. All right. Um, well, more packages to go through. So what else have we got? I believe I can get through it today, guys, as I am sitting down and taking it easy. Oh, this is so cute. Look at the little strawberries. Oh, and this looks like an embellishment box of some kind. As I said, I'll just do a few things at once so it doesn't get too, like, so there's not too much here on my table. So, oh, this is so pretty. I love how she's wrapped that with that beautiful, um, what do you call it, like the velvet tulle. So pretty. Be happy. I love those colours. Colours of the rainbow. Okay. I get it yeah, carefully.
Eighty hit. Look at this. So pretty. It's a little jam jar. It's adorable. I love her little clusters of enamel dots and bling stickers. Little pastel puffy stickers. I love this paper. Oh, sparkly. Homemade. Oh, this is so cute. So, so cute. All right, let's open it. See what's inside. Look at again, this chick paper. Oh, so cute. I'm gonna be careful. Oh, I'll try. oh look. It's like a little box of embellishments. So we've got these pretty strawberry word embellishments. I've been thinking about getting this strawberry dye. I've had it sitting in my Timu cart forever. <laughs> I'm like, do I need it? Don't I need it? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> so pretty. And then we've got... Oh, this is adorable. Look at this little umbrella. I love how she's used that holographic like iridescent for the handle that is so cute look at the little bee gorgeous and then we have another one this pale mint green so pretty And then these cute little jam jars. Oh, so adorable. You know what? I think it'd be really fun to do like a food themed Happy Mail swap. That would be really fun. Something to do. You know, so where you just make like everything that's themed around food and drinks. That would be so fun. And then you could gift things like... Yeah, like tea and cookies or, yeah, that'd be a good, fun thing to do. That's just, see, that's given me inspiration just by looking at a cute little jam jars. <laughs> Adorable. All right. Let me just move a couple of things over. Because then we have, look at this gorgeous embellishment box. Oh, it's Hello Kitty. Oh, I only just recognized that. Oh my gosh, sorry, I'm so slow. Look at that little bow. Oh, gorgeous bunny ribbon. Um, once Emma, um, shares my um happy mail if she's going to share it um yes i'll um leave the link down below um with this video so you can go see what what i sent and made for her because i didn't do like i don't do sort of like outgoing happy mail videos like maybe once a year i might it's very rare for me to do that so um yeah if you want to see what I sent and made to her I'll leave the link down below so you can go check that out um yeah if she does does a video um it's okay if she doesn't because yeah I understand not everyone does do that but how cute look a hello kitty box embellishment box oh my gosh I don't know where she found this possibly Timu or Ali so cute and look at this. Oh, 
I'd say this is what she used. You know how I said I couldn't think of the names of like the glitter sort of enamel dots? I believe it was this Dovecraft glitter glue in candy floss. Look at that. That is so pretty. Gorgeous. So you can add like pretty sparkly touches to your projects. And also in this little box, oh, this is the most adorable chick ever. <gasps> Where did you get that? Oh, that is the cutest thing ever. Look at this little guy. So adorable. Oh, I love it. Um... Oh, this one's got a couple of charms in the bottom. Like some bunnies, some bees. Oh, a little carrot. Some bunnies. Um, is that a heart? Where are the bees? The little carrot. Adorable. There's another one of those little... Did you make these, Emma? Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Look at that. I love these. Are these made with like little... Those little, um, what do they call them? Like beetos, but a bit smaller. It's so cute. You know where you stick the little beads together? I love these. They are so adorable. Oh my gosh. What's in here? I do see something. Oh, look, we have some buttons. They're like crosses. And then we have... Oh, no, is that more? Oh, look, <laughs> I got more. They are the cutest little charms ever. You have to let me know where these came from or whether you handmade them yourself because they are the prettiest and the cutest little things. We have some more buttons. These are from Buttons Galore and More. That was in their um, Easter subscription box. Stay. This one we have. Oh, gorgeous little sequin mix. Look at that. So pretty. I hope I'm in frame because I'm, yeah, I'm sitting down because I can't kneel at the moment. Just my back has been really sore. My body's been really achy. What are these pretty buttons? Little flowers. And then there's another little pretty Easter mix that she has made. Easter sequin mix. Look. There's like little 
Easter eggs and I think I saw a chicken there. Yeah, yeah. Easter eggs and ch little chicks. It's pretty. So many beautiful things. Thank you so much, Emma. Oh my gosh. So cute. Thank you for my Hello Kitty embellishment box. I am going to be keeping this here in my craft room and store my absolute favourite things in here. So, I think there's only a couple more things to go through. Yes, so there's this big, this big giant um, bag here. And, ooh, oops, sorry about that guys, I am knocking stuff over everywhere. And then there are a couple of um, packages here. So first we will have a look what's in here. I think I can smell something nice. It's hard to tell with my infection. So, oops. Oh, that's all right. That was just washi tape. I was worried then I'd ruined something, but let's see what's in here. Very cute the way she um, decorated that bag. Wishing you the hoppiest Easter. <sighs> I actually feel like I'm going to cry, but I'm going to try not to. <laughs> oh, this feels like an album. Okay. Mm. Oh my gosh. <gasps> you made this for me. Oh my gosh. I saw her showing this and I was like, oh, it's so pretty. Look at it. It's like a clear um, album, shaker album. Look at all that glitter. Oh, this is so beautiful. Sorry, guys. I'm shaking it around a lot. Look at that. I even love how she's popped the little, like, gold corner pieces. Isn't that beautiful? So we open it up. There you go, you can see, look at all those pretty colours in the album. This is so lovely. I've never actually made an album like this before, like this. I have just been too, I don't know if I've been too scared, you know, in case it doesn't work out. I'm a bit like that with some things. Like some projects I just look at and go, oh, I don't know if I could do that. In fear of you know making a mistake but how pretty so this one says somebody loves you and she has done these gorgeous little sequin clusters all around there look at that they're so pretty Butterflies, flowers, rain boots, spring showers, east baskets, and sunshine. That's adorable. Happy Easter. Choose happy. Let's have a look. Without me. 
wrecking it. Let's see what's inside. Oh, I don't want to destroy the glassine bag. I love glassine bags. I don't even think I own any. I might own a couple of mini ones and that's it. I have vellum, just not... Oh, it's a shaker. Look at that. So cute. Just pop that back so I don't... I don't want to lose anything or get anything separated. Like, I want things to be, you know, like how she had them, packaged them. Try and get that in the right way because it has to fit back here like this. Like that. Oh my gosh, this one, she has done those little glitter drops and they're like little, like she's thread or, yeah, I have a feeling she may have either thread or glued. See the centers of the flowers, they're like little embroidery pieces. Such a cute idea. And we've got this one here as well, which I can feel, yeah, she's added some of those um, glitter drops to this as well. We then have this gorgeous page here, which is like a cute little envelope with some um, tags inside. Oh, that is so cute. Look at that cute bunny and she's done a little stitching on the bottom oh and it's in pretty pink i love it so pretty that is so cute i've got poppiest easter She's done a stitching, like stitched a piece on that side. Oh, she made some cute little, like, um, picks, like little flag embellishments with little bunnies. They would have been like little, what do they call them? Like the little cake picks that you stick in your cupcakes. And then she's added little flags and little diamond dots. Puffy stickers. So cute. And then have, have an excellent Easter. And there's something tucked behind. Look at that tuck spot. That's so perfect. A great way to use up all these tabs too that we get. I have so many of these and I just forget to use them. What's in here? Oh, gorgeous. She's made some of those like fringe heart embellishments. Look. Try and fit them onto my hand. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Thank you for those. I love 
stuff like this, embellishments that we can use ourselves. And that's the cutest little tuck spot. Look at that. Right behind the Easter egg. And then there's like this cute little, little chick down here. We've got some more cute umbrella embellishments. Oh, I love the colour of that one with the bunnies. It's like blues with lilacs. So pretty. And the mint greens as well. Like, I just love all the pastel colours. Oh, that's adorable. Look at this little envelope here. Yeah, you can pop something in. Such a beautiful album. I love that. Hello, spring. Ooh, we got some rosette embellishments. It's shaped as an Easter egg. Oh my gosh, I just noticed that. Look at that. The shape of the rosette. I think it's because the angle I'm on. <laughs> but yeah, the egg. Egg rosettes. That's so cool. Oh, how cute is this side? And look at what she's done with this butterfly. How she's thread. Little sequins through the middle. Oh my gosh. That is so much detail. Like, that would have taken that would be so time consuming is the word i was looking for like that would take me forever and i have a feeling it's like a paper bag that you open let me just try and it is i'm just trying to be careful um this cute Easter Bunny and this little car. How adorable. So, so cute. And then, I believe there is something inside this bag. Don't want to ruin the. Yeah, I can feel something. Oh wow! Oh, these are beautiful. Look at these. They're like itty bitty enamel dots by Violet Studio. They have been bringing out some really lovely products lately. They are so cute and tiny. Oh, I don't think I've ever owned enamel dots this tiny. Not like a whole set. Oh, and look at this gorgeous set of hearts. This is from Best in Show Enamel Hearts, 63 pieces by Violet Studio. We never got this, um, the best in show. We never got these here in Australia. First time I saw it was I saw someone from the UK haul, haul some of it. Um, so cute. But it was like literally all like um, animal and dog like related collection. And I don't know why they didn't release it in Australia because it's like really cute. Like look at all these colours. Like who wouldn't want to get these? Like... It's crazy some of the things that you know we don't get and then you get all these other things that you're like oh why do we want that for <laughs> oh my gosh thank you so much Emma for that this is so beautiful gorgeous album and gorgeous gifts I'm gonna be shaking that all day long might stick it 
over here. I don't know if you guys can see it over there or not because of the where the um, camera goes. But I have two more things to open and then that's it for Emma's Easter Happy Mail package. I'll just move some of these pretty things so we can see so we had so this package here almost feels like a six by six paper pad we don't get them often anymore do we the six by six once they moved to sort of the six by eight oh Oh my god, I can't believe she found it. Wow. See how adorable is this, guys? Such a thick pad, too. We don't get pads this thick from Violet Studio. Ours are like, like you get 12 pages or something in them. Well, the majority of them you do. This is so cute. Violet Studio, best in show. And you see what I mean by it's got like a whole heap of dogs um whew. sorry Th this means so much more to me now like <sighs> I'm so sorry guys <laughs> I'm just really sad because I'm lost my little bow last week we, we had to put him down <laughs> and it was the hardest thing I've ever had to do <laughs> he was really sick he had renal kidney failure and <sighs> now receiving this paper pad with the dogs on it is just yeah I'm just still really vulnerable <laughs> This means a lot. So I think I'm gonna like, I'm gonna do some kind of frame or something, you know, to remember Bo by, and I'm gonna use this this paper pad. Thank you so much for that, Emma. I'm so sorry, guys. I can't help myself. Oh, I've just honestly never been so emotional like he was our first dog that we've ever had like he was such a gorgeous little dog and I didn't want to have to do this I didn't want to have to I thought it was okay to start filming and but that's just it's it's the it's the um I'm just I guess so overwhelmed and and this is a really beautiful gift. So thank you, Emma. Just... <sighs> These are the chipboard stickers. much Emma for everything this is just oh I just can't I didn't want to have to do this I'm sorry I'm so sorry thank you so much for your beautiful happy mail I absolutely love everything that you have done everything you have sent me and made it's so beautiful it's so thoughtful so creative And I really enjoyed doing this swap with you. I, I loved it. So thank you for everything. I hope you enjoy my swap. Um, and yeah, I apologise to everyone if you couldn't quite hear me and things like that. But yeah, I'm just in a bit of a, a bit of a rough place at the moment. But I really wanted to open this and share with you all the beautiful things that 
that Emma has made for me and sent to me and it's extremely thoughtful so <laughs> thank you Emma and thank you to everybody who's watching um, I'll leave Emma's link down below and I'll catch you all on the next one take care guys bye